If you could ask anyone in the 90s to describe Messi Star, a lot of them would probably say intimacy, indie rock and love. But how did Messi Star create the perfect love song? Messi Star is a band that could create a world of comforting sadness, a sadness in which you could dream away. Their music holds a type of haunting beauty that can capture the hearts of hopeless romantics all around the world. It lifts you up, it hugs your soul and lets you rest in the wonderful world that they've created inside your head, filled with love and comfort. Messi Star is able to hold this power where countless of fans have memories tied to their songs. Their music reminds people of their first loves, rainy days and starry nights. It is able to achieve a hopeful yet lingering sound that keeps you hooked days after listening to it for the first time. And despite all the mystiques surrounding the band, a lot of songs are simple. David Roback explained on Fade Into You, we weren't trying to write a hit song, we were just writing a song. Fade Into You will forever be seen as a romantic song about falling in love, but there's a grim darkness to it that often goes unnoticed. The spiral of losing yourself completely to someone who's lost in a different way. It's a longing for this deeper kind of human connection, only to realize that others don't experience the same emotions. I'm a tear when I see nothing. I'm a tear to see the truth. Sandoval is lost in her own way and she tries to find herself in the person that she's addressing. She sings about unrequited love, about not seeing those romantic feelings reflected in the other person's eyes. She's yearning for the truth that she holds dear in her world, but she's getting a different kind of truth handed by the world surrounding her, the harsh reality of fading into someone else. On the song's second verse, she imagines herself from his perspective, seeing her love as a stranger's light. A stranger's light. She puts all out being out of home, claiming, I'm not myself anymore. I'm here for you, slowly trying to become someone for you, while the person never knew. The alternative piece of Dream Pop became a teenage soundtrack with its words of longing on top of a lingering slide guitar and piano. Perhaps it's this mythical quality that makes a track so nostalgic. It's intimate enough for you to pay attention while being diluted just enough to let your mind wander. Like in the same way that the lyrics are able to tell a story while being vague enough for where the listener can project their own emotions and experiences onto them. She finds it strange that feelings so immense can go unnoticed, that similar emotions within the bounds of love can mean a whole different thing to each other. Fade Into You is a wistful anthem of unrequited love, one that pulls you into its world and lingers in your mind and soul long after the fire has faded. Hope Sandoval goes hand in hand with this minimalistic, intimate style. She often sings very quietly, barely acknowledging the audience while being lit by a single dim backlight. This forces you as the listener to listen, to not care about the stage, nor the band members, but to simply close your eyes and to have the song take you by hand. Hover's reputed to have a shy personality, once stating, I just get really nervous. Once you're on stage, you're expected to perform. I always feel awkward about just standing there and not speaking to the audience, but it's difficult for me. She acts very familiar, like if you're listening to a close friend or a family member instead of a band. She gives you a personal connection through the means of her song and this shy personality on stage. It feels like they're performing this song only for you. And then there's Sandoval singing. There's a softness to it that makes it feel intimate. She sounds like an angel that has come down to earth to sing this song for you. While listening to her, it's easy to phase out everything else that's happening around you. Her voice pulls you in and doesn't let go. This minimalism can also be found on the album covers of both Messy Star and Hope Sandoval and the Warm Inventions. There's hardly any text visible, usually not drawing your attention right away. This makes you see the image or art style first, somehow invoking a mood before you've listened to the first track. 
This combination of both minimal and intimate art style on the album covers goes hand in hand with the entire vibe of Hulk Sandoval. Messi Star was able to create a sound that was unheard at the time. Although very closely related to other bands in the same scene and genre of a psychedelic uprise, Messi Star produced something much more. People felt a much closer and personal connection with the band. Messi Star was capable of expressing teenage emotions with a kind of quiet wistfulness that was completely foreign to other genres. While Flowers in December isn't necessarily a love song, it shows aspects of falling in love but getting your heart broken. Everyone is able to mean something for someone, but feelings might not be reciprocated. Getting your heart broken hurts, but it gives you a feeling that you'll always remember. She doesn't want to give up, but somehow she has to. They say when you love somebody unconditionally, give everything without any hesitation, as love has to be divine, it has to be pure. In the song she feels betrayed, it breaks her heart and her soul feels shattered. It's not so much about love, but what comes after. Yet, it's not so much because of the lyrics as the overall mood that their tracks invoke on you. Using fairly simple lyrical rhymes and common chord progressions, Messi Star leaves a lot of open room and space for experimentation, creating a song from the feelings that are burning inside of them. Even if you're not paying attention to the lyrics of a song, the instrumental pieces on the songs are more complicated than you might hear at first. Partly credited to David Robeck, each instrument has a part in a song. Sandoval herself using mostly the tambourine or harmonica to contribute very little but yet giving off this very intimate warm embrace. David Robeck is likely seen to be the backbone of Messi Star, producing all their records and writing almost every song. He and Hope shared an intimate relationship in the beginning, and this connection what they've created lasted for a very long time. The band refused to explain or mythologize themselves or their craft, giving hardly any interviews or explanations, but it was Robeck himself who described it the best. We're not so concerned about the outside world, he told Uncut in 2013. It's a very internal process that we're involved in. The outside world is really not on our minds. Insofar as the music is concerned, it is its own world unto itself. Messi stars stay true to their true form, holding a connection with the listener and evoking feelings mostly about love in a way where people were being pushed into this dreamy, unrealistic world. A place that everyone wants to visit, where it's warm and lovely. Like David Robeck said to the Times in 1993, you have to leave something to people's imagination, though they feel they can participate. Music is music. We don't want to be part of that overdetermination. We feel you should be able to shut your eyes and listen to it. When you listen to Messi Star, it's impossible not to lose yourself in their world. A world that, as Sandoval wrote in a poem posted a few days after Robeck's passing, is filled with the comforting sadness that holds us together. This is probably one of my favorite videos that I was able to make lately. I'm really enthusiastic about making better and longer videos in the future, but I of course cannot do that without your help. So I would really appreciate it if you liked the video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Also leave a comment below if there are topics on which I should make a video next. Thank you.